Thank you, Shremesh. So the name of my co-author that no one can pronounce, except the Croats in the group, is Ivana Serblin, and she couldn't be here today. And this is actually uh, something that she did, uh, research, a piece of research that uh, she did for her thesis. So uh, the whole uh, study was based on the findings that she did uh, as a part of this thesis. The background information, before I start with explaining what exactly the study involved, is the fact that in Croatia, like some other European countries, there, there has been tremendous change during the last couple of years. And uh, the change is affecting all parts of economy and, of course, very much affecting the academia as well. Uh, academics in Croatia have certain uh, adjustments to make partially because we introduced the Bologna process, which many of you are familiar with, and some of you are probably struggling with, like we are in, in Croatia. But then there were other things that also happened at our academic uh, uh, institutions, in our academic community. We had a problem with corruption. We had uh, certain arrests, and uh, we had a lot of negative media uh, uh, follow-up, and uh, this caused all sorts of problems in the academic community. So the University of Zagreb has a lot of unhappy professors and assistants that are currently wondering how to sort of, what, where to go with their careers. And the idea behind this research was to find out if internal communication satisfaction at the University of Zagreb, at our faculty particularly, was something that was an issue. So first, we started to look if there is any research on internal communication satisfaction at the academic uh, uh, community, at universities, and we actually found out that there is not so much of it. That uh, there have been some studies, but that I guess they were mostly oriented on the corporate world. So uh, studying job satisfaction and communication satisfaction at the university was not something that we could find a lot of. A few studies that we found concentrated more on job satisfaction, as could be expected, and they indicated that actually there, even though there are of course many similarities between the corporate world and the academic world, there are certain specific elements that affect job and internal communication satisfaction at the academic uh, institutions. Uh, things like um, uh, happiness with teaching and research activities, and then the question of job security, which was of particular interest to us because of the changes that were going on. So um, according to the studies and the background that we found uh, uh, while looking into it, we decided there were two elements that we wanted to concentrate on. And these actually formulated the two goals of the study. The first one was to research if the very common connection between internal communication satisfaction and job satisfaction also exists at the academic world. So are those two variables that are usually very highly correlated, is this correlation to be expected at the university as well. And the additional goal that was specifically or, uh, formulated because of our particular situation at the University of Zagreb was to see if there was a certain connection with a, a level of employment and communication satisfaction. Uh, we have a specific system where uh, teaching assistants uh, do have long-term jobs but don't have such a level of job security as the professors do and they are, a lot of them are fighting for a few specific places. So it creates a different type of atmosphere among the people who are at the assistant level than the ones that are actually professors already. Uh, we used the questionnaire that was already mentioned here yesterday actually and was used in a few other studies and it's a, a questionnaire that uh, I developed with two of my colleagues from the University of Zagreb. It has this wonderful name, Upzik, that no one can pronounce but it's actually a, a quite a comprehensive, uh, not very long instrument questionnaire that has 32 items divided in eight dimensions, which I won't go into because Shiramesh is going to fla start flashing the cards at me. Um, and we, of course, added some additional demographic questions uh, that were important for this study. Uh, and we added a measure of job satisfaction in order to investigate the first goal that I mentioned. Uh, there's 280 professors and assistants working at our particular business school and we managed to reach only 71 out of these 280. I mean, we could of course reach all of them, but only 71 of them agreed to answer the questionnaire, which as I will mention later is part of the problem uh, with this whole study and studies of this sort. 
We did guarantee anonymity to these professors and assistants, but of course it was relative anonymity because we had to go and reach them one by one. So Ivana, who was conducting, physically conducting the research, knew which questionnaire was matched to which professor and to which assistant. So it was a matter of trusting Ivana and me uh, that we wouldn't actually reveal the results, which some did and I guess some didn't. Uh, we divided the respondent, uh, respondents into two groups, the professors on one side and the assistants on the other side in order to answer our questions. This is the result of uh, job satisfaction. I do have all the fancy tables and statistics, but they will be in the paper. I didn't want to uh, put too many uh, because it's just, it's, the time is too short. Uh, there was quite a high level of job satisfaction. I mean, it looks like it's a big difference, but, 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 but it's because of the scale goes from 555 to 6. So both assistants and professors had um, uh, a level of satisfaction that varied from 57 to 595, which is actually quite a high level of, of job satisfaction. Unlike communication satisfaction, internal communication satisfaction, that proved to be quite lower. Now, uh, these are the dimensions that I mentioned earlier, eight of them, and uh, in three out of those eight dimensions, assistants proved to be significantly higher, uh, more satisfied than the professors. The, le the, the dimensions which proved to be significantly higher were satisfaction with feedback information, satisfaction with communication with superiors, and satisfaction with communication climate. Uh, assistants have a different type of work organizations than professors do. We have a system where assist assistants are attached to particular professors, so their bosses are just next to them and they can actually talk to their bosses and have a good or a bad relationship with them. Unlike the professors who don't really have a boss, the university is our boss and we don't have a personal figure that we can blame or, or complain to or be happy with. So maybe this explains part of these results. Now, I selected particular items out of the 32 that are in the questionnaire that I thought that were interesting. Uh, the one that is circled uh, information on work protocols and regulation is the only one out of the 32 items where assistants were less satisfied than the professors. In all the other ones, professors were significantly uh, more happy. The one that everyone was the least satisfied was, was the amount of gossip in the organization. It's a very important item because people tend to believe that many de decisions are made based on gossip uh, instead of uh, real factual information. Okay, so uh, the results firstly confirm the, that there is a high correlation between job satisfaction and internal communication satisfaction. Most of the studies that uh, analyze this have the same results, so this was not very surprising. The study also showed that assistants are generally more happy with internal communications than professors which is something that I'm wondering slightly about because I cannot really determine if this is influenced by the question of anonymity and the assistant's uh, uh, fear of maybe uh, having their, their uh, opinions revealed to their bosses. The limitations of the study, of course, were many. This was just an exploratory small study, so the sample size was limited. Uh, we couldn't get all the demographic information we wanted because we promised some anonymity so we couldn't do the gender influence, the organizational uh, position influence and so on. The honesty and the lack of anonymity, something that I already mentioned, that is a big problem and uh, I have to just say that we thought about using other ways of acquiring data but I think then we would get even less uh, of the questionnaires back. This way we approached people one by one and some of them felt that they had to respond. And of course the job satisfaction items that weren't uh, uh, extensive enough. Conclusion in future research. Mm, I really honestly believe uh, that uh, my particular institution, my business school, has serious problems and that part of these problems are based on very, very high dissatisfaction levels of the staff. The young people that are getting their PhDs are thinking that they don't know if they have any job security, they want to move to other countries, they're thinking of going out of Croatia or leaving for, for private institutions. And I think that even though we have a lot of immediate problems, so we never solve the strategic issues, this is something that the bosses should really, really look into. Uh, I have to say that when I wanted to publish, th and this is my last remark, when I wanted to publish this results at the business schools, uh, the, the dean and the vice deans said, I'm not allowed to do it. So uh, I got very mad and I said, okay, then I'll publish it on an international conference. 
if you think that's a better way of discussing these results. So uh, if I'm not here next year, <laughs> you will know why. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs>